Hello all, welcome to our NIST CSF 2.0 series. In this lecture, we will discuss about the basics of NIST CSF. First question that we need to understand is what is NIST and why it was created? National Institute of Standard and Technology NIST So sometimes I may pronounce that as NIST or NIST So it was established to develop a voluntary framework to improve the protection of critical infrastructure in the United States Now please understand this is a voluntary framework Framework is always flexible it means that organization can select the parts most relevant to their specific needs and risk applicable to them. President Obama commissions its creation in 2013 via an executive order. Some of the important framework released by NIST till date are Cyber security framework that we will discuss in this lecture, risk management frameworks, privacy related frameworks and most recent artificial intelligence related risk management framework. So these are some kind of framework released by National Institute of Standards and Technology. Now let us understand what is CSF that is Cyber Security Framework NIST Cyber Security Framework offers guidelines and best practices for the organizations to improve its cyber security. Now let us understand what is cyber security as per NIST closely. Cyber security is defined as process of protecting information by preventing detecting and responding to the attacks. So, CSF aims to improve the cyber security risk management and information security of the organizations. Now, we need to understand what is CSF 2.0. NIST has released first version of its framework in 2014, version 1.1 in 2018 and latest version that is CSF 2.0 in 2024. So CSF 2.0 is the latest version of the framework applicable from 2024. Next question, who can use the NIST CSF 2.0? As we discussed earlier, CSF is a framework. Please note that framework is always flexible. So, any organization, big or small, in any industry can adopt the same. It is helpful for large companies, small businesses, government agencies and non-profit organizations. Framework is flexible to fit different organization types. Next question. Which entities must mandatory comply with CSF? Though voluntary for other organization, but US federal government agencies are mandated to comply with the framework as part of the cyber security initiatives and regulatory requirements. Next question that we need to understand is whether framework needs to be implemented in its totality. Please note that CSF is a framework and not a standard and hence framework is always flexible meaning organizations can select their parts most applicable to their needs and risk. 
so it is not required to be implemented in totality let us now recap some of the important aspects by way of multiple choice questions first question what is the purpose of csf as we know it is a framework and hence it is not mandatory it is not applicable to only banking industry it is a voluntary framework applicable to all the kinds of the organization next question which entities are mandated to comply with csf as we discussed earlier us federal government agencies for all other organization it is voluntary next question Which of the following is a key feature of CSF? As we already discussed flexibility. Let us discuss the next question. Which version of CSF was released in 2024 we already discussed 2.0 is the latest version applicable from 2024 next question you are the ceo of hda incorporated you want to adopt nist csf 2.0 However, currently your organization does not have capability to adopt all the categories. Can you adopt CSF partially? We already discussed this. Yes, you can. That's all for this lecture. In our next lecture, we will discuss what are the components of CSF 2.0. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to have complete access to our CSF 2.0 course, please do check the link available at the description.